Hey guys, it's Wes, your Beard Ambassador, and I'm back again with another review. Today, we are reviewing Renaissance Man Beard Company. They are out of Columbus, Ohio, which is uh, about two, two and a half hours for me. Um, I travel to Columbus about once a year, sometimes more. Uh, we take the kids to the Columbus Zoo, which I believe is not too far away from Renaissance Man. Uh, but one of, if you have not tried the Columbus Zoo, or if you like zoos or whatever, you have got to try that one out. It is by far the best zoo that I have been to. And we, me and my family, we've been to several. We go every single year. We have not missed, I don't think we've ever missed a year since my kids have been born. So, check that out. Renaissance Man created their company for the everyday man. For the man that works in the boardroom. For the man that... Uh, that works out in the lumber yard for the man that works, you know, in corrections as a, uh, well, a cop can't hardly have beards. Sorry, cops. <laughs> but uh, for everybody, the factory worker, everybody, the uh, executive. But, um, you know, I have my new job. I work strictly in office, you know, and you got to dress a certain way in an office. You have got to maintain yourself a certain way. And um, I understand, because, you know, whenever I first went for the interview, I cut my beard down really, really short. It had grown up. And this is probably about the length I'm going to keep it. I like it about this length. But, um, but I maintain it. And, you know, I believe, guys, if we maintain our beards and we keep them, we don't have them just, you know, you look like you just got out of bed when you first go in to work, especially in an office setting. Uh, maybe we can get that stigma, you know, through a side. So, so take care of your beards and, uh, but anyway, I'm getting a little off subject here, but he sent me two cents. We have Bay Rum and we have Grandpa's Pipe. And, um, I like both of them. <laughs> I'll flat tell you there. Uh, really cool labeling. I don't know. Well, my camera won't focus real well. But anyway, I'll probably put it right here. But uh, really cool labeling. It's got the ingredients. His ingredients is sweet almond oil, apricot kernel oil, avocado oil, argan oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E oil, grapeseed oil, pumpkin seed oil, and hemp seed oil, and some essential oils. Made in the USA. Uh, let's see here. It's got directions on the side. Uh, an amber glass bottle with the, the dropper. As you can tell, I don't know, this green screen might throw it off, but, uh, it's a pretty clear, it's actually maybe has a very slight tint to it, but it's a very clear oil. It's a medium thickness oil. I was kind of surprised. Uh, it's a uh, medium thick oil. It's, uh, I just said that, didn't I? <laughs> Let's see. I'll put a couple drops here in my hand of Old Bay Rum here. I don't know if you can see that. But, uh, oh man. And you know, I've talked about on other videos about Bay Rum and, uh, Every company has their own take on Bay Rum, it seems like. This here is no different. It, it's got its own unique scent. And I really, on this one, I get a little bit of the spice of the, uh, you know, I've, I've been all over the Caribbean. Uh, I, me and my wife are avid cruisers. And, uh, and you know, you get a lot of the... Uh, the scents from the tropical islands, the the coconut smell, the the spice and the the clove and the uh, I don't know. It's just like even the salt in the air, the the rum. <laughs> but uh, it uh, it's got such a unique scent. It's not a real spicy scent like a lot of them. It, you can smell the spice, but it's um, it's also got that that note of, you know, I swear I smell like, like coconut and just a, 
a clean a clean scent in the uh, the bay rum. Uh, I love it. Uh, this is I mean it ranks right up there. I like all the bay rum scents, and I can't say that I have a number one on the bay rum scent. I don't think I do. I have a few companies that I like better than others, but uh, this one here is is great. If you like bay rum, this is a must. The the closest thing I can compare it to is probably Grave Before Shaves Bay Rum, but um, this one maybe have a little bit more spice, just just a tad. Uh, but it's it's excellent. I really really enjoyed this. Great, and it, it it stays with you. I would say it's probably the scent probably last uh, probably around four hours. I could smell it after four hours, which, you know, I, I don't mind that. I'd, I've got to really love a scent to want to smell it all day long. This here, it's got a really, uh, oh man, it just smells so clean. But if you're into Bay Rum scents, definitely check that out. And I'm looking at my screen on my camera again. If I would look directly at the camera... It wouldn't look like I was talking to somebody else, but you will catch me doing that all the time. There. Hmm. Okay, so let me give on his website here, I've got it on my phone. He's got a description of his Bay Rum, and this might kind of sum it up a little bit better for you. Um, it says, a man who does not like Bay Rum scent in his beard should not be trusted any more than you would trust a pirate with your own wallet and booze. That's pretty cool. It says here on the website, it says, Bay Rum is invigorating and rugged with hints of spice. And I, I called that. I said hints of spice. Found in St. Thomas and other West Indian islands, which is kind of there in the, it's the Eastern Caribbean. Okay. Uh, it was made from rum and the berries of the West Indian bay tree. How cool is that? I have never heard that description like that before. Uh, it's great. That nailed it. That really did nail it. Um, I even maybe get a, you know, it's funny, a little hint of vanilla in there after you wear it a while. Uh, I don't know if he's got that in there, but, but I, I get a little hint of that in there too. Okay, next. Grandpa's pipe. And if you can see the, oh shoot, this camera does not have auto focusing and it's really starting to drive me nuts. But anyway, I'll put another picture of it right here. Um, it's got the ingredients, which is the same uh, carrier oils. And uh, it's got the directions. Um, it's got the uh, web address to Renaissance Man. It's www.rmbeardco.com. So go check that out. He's got a nice website. Uh, a lot of other stuff on there, too. But Grandpa's Pipe, whenever I first seen this, I thought, you know, I, I hope it don't smell like smoke. I really hope it don't smell like smoke. And guys, it's the furthest thing away from smelling like smoke. It smells, it's got such an awesome scent. I mean, I, I don't know if I've got a beard oil, and I've got a lot of beard oils, that smells like this. It smells really really nice uh you know the other my other fav one of my top uh, it probably is my top favorite oil that i have uh is sherlock you know from honest ape and it's a like a pipe you know kind of scent and it's funny because honest ape is from chillicothe which is right underneath columbus these guys these guys know what they're doing up there in <laughs> in ohio but um it uh it don't smell anything like this. Uh, they have two so unique scents. Very, very nice. It... I'm smelling a vanilla in it, too. I'm a big vanilla fan. And vanilla, which I'm sure it's got a tobacco, but I'd say it's like a sweet tobacco scent. Very sweet tobacco. It... Again, it feels nice and beard, lasts around four hours, maybe a little less. 
it just depends. Scents don't carry in my beard for very long. So, let's see. Let me uh, check out their website here and see how they describe their grandpa's pipe. All right. It says, do not worry. This scent does not smell like smoke. Yeah, well. <laughs> it said, things are, uh, pipes are a thing of the past, but, you know, we'll never forget the scent of grandpa's pipe. Um, that rich, sweet smell of tobacco leaves and vanilla. Man, I nailed that one. As Grandpa would lean back in his easy chair and fill the room with stories of yesteryear as he packed his pipe. That's, that's really, really cool. And you know what? It's so funny because... Uh, it's funny how these oils will remind you of stories in your past. And uh, <coughs> um, just little things like that. It's, it's, it's crazy how a scent will do that for you. Uh, Grandpa's Pipe is one of the founder's favorites. I can see why. So, yeah. And uh, I, can, I can totally understand why this would be a, a customer favorite. I mean, it's, it's got such a pleasing scent. And a sweet tobacco smell don't smell anything like, you know, cigarettes or anything like that. It has just a... Uh, really nice scent. I mean, I would totally wear this in the office. I have wore this in the office before. So, guys, if you have not tried out Renaissance Man, it is a must. I will definitely be purchasing more oils, and I really want to, I don't know if he's got bombs yet or not. I'll definitely have to check it, but if he does, I'm definitely going to have to check that out too. He's got several scents. I definitely want to try all of them. Um, I see, I think he's got a, I don't know if he's got a sample pack or not, but if, if he does, I'm going to definitely purchase that, and I will review the rest of them. But, guys, check him out. Renaissance Man, rmbeardco.com. Um, check him out on Instagram. Is on Instagram. I believe he's on Facebook. Check him out. It, I can't believe I hadn't heard of this company until now because fantastic products. I mean, I, I mean, fan, I was blown away by the scents. I, I really, really like both of them. Th that will stay in my heavy rotation. Both scents will. I'm looking at that screen on my camera again. I need just to fold that screen back, and then I have to look at the camera. But until next time, don't shave it. Maintain it, guys. Later.